Hey everyone, it's Melody. I am here with my American Eagle jeans haul. I've never purchased this many pairs of American Eagle jeans at once. This is about $300 worth. They were having a sale. I primarily just wanted to see the new fits, the new stretches, the new cuts. And just try them out. Uh, American Eagle jeggings, uh, these are all jeggings. Uh, they're my favorite to wear. These are my favorite primarily because they always have functional front pockets. They're so stretchy. They're usually super comfortable. I'm gonna try all of these on and see which ones I like the best and show you guys and compare, contrast, and just kind of give you guys my overall review and feel of them. So let's go ahead and get started. The first pair I'll be trying on are the super high rise jegging in the super stretch, super soft. I'm gonna try them on in a size four. They were originally, $49.95, but I, again, I bought these on sale. Let's go ahead and try these on. Here they are on. Thank goodness for functional pockets, you guys. Ooh, and these are deep pockets, but here they are. Now, straight off, I do not like the wash of these. Uh, they didn't look this pronounced on the website, because otherwise I wouldn't have even bothered picking these up. But however, the fit of them are phenomenal. They fit so nice. I love how they are pretty skin tight. I'll cinch it right at the ankle. They are very high rise, like my buttons, my button, my belly button is right there. So these are quite high rise, full functioning pockets, front and back. You can see that the fading is just all sorts of crazy though, like compared to the back, like you can tell like there's like splotches and like, do you guys see the splotches down here? Like what's happening? Are these like just errors? I don't, they feel, I mean the, the fading of these look so bizarre and odd, but the fit of them are phenomenal. So I'm kind of hoping that I picked up another pair of these jeans in a different wash somewhere over there in my stack. So, because other than that, I actually love these. They're really comfortable, really, really nice. I think the size four fits great. I think a size two would have been a little tight in the waist. So a size four is typically perfect for me, but sometimes when the Jeggings at American Eagle are just a little bit stretchier. I do prefer a size two, but these size fours are perfect. Too bad that the wash is all sorts of crazy. Like, look at, that looks so crazy. <laughs> uh, but these are the first pair. The next pair I have are the super high rise jegging in the 360 next level stretch. These are also in a size four and these retail for $49.95. Let me just see what this back card indicates. Oh, this wash is awesome. <laughs> Let's go ahead and try these on. And here they are, you guys. I love these. <laughs> Let's go ahead and see them. Uh, they've got some nice uh, deep pockets. My whole hand fits in there. These feel a little bit longer than the last pair I tried on. They go a little bit further down, I guess. <laughs> the inseam must be just be a little bit longer. These are actually stretchier than the super soft ones that I just tried on. I do think that I have more room to just kind of wiggle around in. Even when I put them on, I could tell, I was like, oh, these have a little bit more give to them. So they must have either some more spandex or some more elastane, I'm not sure. Uh, we could take a look at that though. I love the wash of these. I like kind of a darker denim in general. I love the wash of these, nothing too dramatic, no uh, distressing, which sometimes I actually really like. I feel like I don't need tons of distressed jeans. So these are phenomenal. Again, in a size four, my belly button's right here. So again, these are pretty darn high rise. I really, really like them. I'm just slightly concerned because there's a bit of uh, give in the waist. So I kind of wonder if these will get a little stretched out during the day and if I'm gonna need uh, a belt or something. I don't know, like, I just don't know how these will wear throughout the day. So, but other than that, really, really like them. Feel like they really elongate the legs just because they are a darker uh, wash and they're just so darn comfy, like absolutely comfortable. So I love these, I actually might keep these. The next pair that I have to try on are the super high rise jegging in the super stretch. And these retailed for $39.95, so about $10 uh, cheaper than the previous two pairs that I tried on. Let's go ahead and get these on. Oh my goodness, the struggle was very real with these ones. They are much more snug than the last two pairs. The pockets are still pretty, oh, very deep and functional, but they are very tight at my hips, so just not as much stretch to these. Even when I was putting them on, I had to kind of do like a, a jump into them, you know what I mean? The wash is okay, a little light from the thigh down to the knee, and then much darker from the knee down to the ankle. 
no distressing or anything like that, but overall, a decent pair, quite high rise. Again, my belly button's just right there. So, so far all of these super high rise jeggings have really been about the same height, I guess, as far as the high rise goes. These are okay, but I just don't feel like I would wear them as often because they are just a little bit more restricting than the last pair I had on. But again, maybe these will actually stay up better because of that, but there's just not enough stretch for me. And I'm not sure if I super love the wash on these either. I feel like some of this whiskering really emphasizes this area here, my lower belly, which I feel like is like not the area I want to emphasize particularly. And I just feel like it looks really, really dark from the knee down. So not my favorite wash either, but I'm glad I tried these on because I was very curious about whether, uh, of which of these are the stretchiest really. So these are definitely the tightest of the three that I've tried on so far, which is funny because they're called the super stretch. So <laughs> they're not that stretchy. Here they are. The next pair I'm gonna try on are the only pair of distressed jeans that I actually purchased in this order. These are the highest rise jagging. So a different rise than the last three pairs that I've tried on. Also, these are super stretched. So I'm a little bit nervous about how stretchy they actually are. And the highest rise jeggings retail for $59.95. Again, everything I try on is a size four. Uh, oh, there's some distressing on the back pocket too. My goodness. So let's go ahead and try these on. I've never tried on the highest rise jeggings yet. So I'm actually kind of interested to see how they fit. Oh my goodness, I kind of love these. I'm a little bit upset about it. These are the highest rise jeggings and they are definitely higher than the super high rise ones because my belly button is absolutely covered by like, it's like in there. So my belly button's like somewhere right there. So definitely a much higher rise if you just want a little bit more tummy control. I love that. They've got very deep pockets. I actually could tell that these were gonna be super high rise because when I was like, doing the zipper and stuff. I was like, oh, that's a long zipper. So I knew that there was just a lot more going on here. Distressing, I wish it wasn't. <laughs> that's my only gripe with these pair of uh, jeggings. I just wish they were like regular, but they've got a lot of distressing and I'm not sure if I'm super duper comfortable with how much distressing they have. I'm trying to get away from super distressed jeggings. I feel like I'm kind of over it but I do like the wash of these. I think these are a nice dark color. I do like uh, how stretchy they are. They feel really, really comfortable. A little nervous about moving my legs around that much because the distressing is very prominent. <laughs> but they are so nice and comfortable. These feel actually a lot stretchier than the last super stretch ones that I tried on for whatever reason. I don't know if it's because they're higher rise. I don't know if it's because it's a different shade. I don't know if it's because of the distressing and it just gives you a little bit more freedom maybe. It doesn't feel so confined. I'm not sure of that, but like these, I just wish it didn't have distressing. So I'm a little bit sad about it. I don't know if I'm gonna keep these or not but they are really, really nice. And this is kind of what I was wanting. I wanted a really high rise pair of jeggings my in my closet. And this is kind of fits the bill, just not all the, not all the holes. <laughs> so what do you guys think? Let me know. I might just have to keep an eye out on the American Eagle website for another pair of the highest rise, super stretched jeggings, but without all the holes in it. <laughs> And just one final thought on these. I do feel like these particular rise style do emphasize, gives you a little push in the bottom if you need it, and I desperately do. So I think they do make the bottom look quite nice compared to the last two that I tried on as well. The next pair that I have are the super high rise dragging and the next level stretch. I only actually got these because I thought the wash was kind of classic. And also it has this interesting front stitching sort of detail to it. So I thought I would go ahead and try these on and just see what I felt about it. I'm not sure if, how, if I like this or if it emphasizes that area too much. Let's try them on. Oh, and these were $49.95. Again, a US for regular. And here they are. What do you guys think about this front design? I'm not sure if I like it. The pockets are nice and deep. Um, not the deepest of the ones that I've tried on. I'm really just not sure I feel about all this here. It's a lot going on, I feel like. And I feel like it'd look really weird if I did put a belt in with it as well. I'm okay with the wash, 
but I feel like I have a pair of American Eagle jeggings right now that is pretty much exactly like this wash and I love those so I just don't feel like I need a second pair especially since I'm so iffy about the uh, cut and the stitching on the waistband. Um, they fit okay. They are stretchier than some of the other ones I've tried on but if this is gonna sound weird but I feel like the left leg is stretchier than the right leg and I don't know if that's a leg issue for me but uh, it's the first time I felt that with any of these jeggings so I just feel like maybe there is an issue I'm not sure these are just I already put them on and I just kind of was like mm, these are not my favorite maybe that's a good thing I don't need all of these but I don't know, what do you guys think? Let me know if you have a pair of these and how they fit. I do feel like these are also a little tighter in the hip. And I don't know if it's from all this excess stitching right here. Like I can feel like a big old stitch line right here and it just kind of feels tight right there. Belly button is right here. So these feel like slightly lower than some of my other super high rise dragons that I've tried on uh, in this haul. So I don't know, it's a little bit odd. Here they are in case you are interested in getting these. Second to last pair, these are the highest rise jegging in the super stretch, super soft, size four. And these were regularly $59.95. I think all of the highest, highest, what is it? Highest rise jegging are about uh, the $60 price range. I, these are the only black pair of jeans I have. I don't super duper love black jeans because I'm typically wearing a black top, so I like to wear blue jeans. Uh, these were the only highest rise jeggings that didn't have like holes all over them. So I thought I would just go ahead and try these on to see how they fit and to see uh, how the stretch was and everything. And here they are. My goodness, I love the rise of the highest rise jeggings so much. I think these are the going, to, going to be the only pairs of American Eagle jeggings that I like try to obtain in the future because the rise is just so wonderful. I feel like it really comes in at like kind of like the most, the smallest point of me. I know I'm wearing like a very long, and baggy long sleeve right now, but they're pajamas, let me live my life. Here they are though. I will say though, when I put these on, there is a chemically smell permeating from them. I'm a little bit concerned about that. I think it just must be from the dye of the jean. I also feel like these, I could have maybe gone down a size because I feel like there's a bit of bunching in the knees or maybe they're just, Maybe they're too long. I mean, maybe I need to get a, a short in these because they're also quite long. So I just feel like there's a lot of excess fabric here at the knees as well as at the ankles. I love the feel of these. These are also stretchy. Maybe just slightly less than the distress pair of the highest rise jeggings that I tried on. However, I love them. I think they're really comfortable. Really, really nice. Just a little, a little bit of bunching at the knees, a little bit of bunching at the ankle, and I definitely would prefer a blue jean. I think it's because if I wanted to wear black on the bottom, I would just wear black leggings, <laughs> honestly. I just feel like they'd be so much more comfortable. Um, I guess unless I wanted like pockets, and these have amazing pockets. God bless uh, American Eagle for having great pockets on their jeggings because I've decided I'm not gonna buy any more jeggings that don't have real pockets in them. It's just not worth my time. Love that factor. I just wish these were blue and not so not so baggy in the knees, I guess, or in the ankle. Maybe that was just a length issue for me. But here are these as well. And these are the last and final pair of jeans I'll be trying on. These are the super high rise, super stretch, super soft. These retailed for $49.95. I tried on a similar style, but this is just a different wash. Let's go ahead and see how these fit. Here they are. Nice big deep pockets, a little bit of whiskering here. Lighter in the thighs. It looks much more prominent on camera than it does in real life. I feel like in real life it is not so bam light. So I think that's just more of a lighting issue. They are pretty high rise. My belly button's right here again, just right above the actual jeans. Uh, these don't have that issue that I just had with the highest rise ones where they were kind of bunching at the knees a ton. And I feel like they're not bunching too much at the ankle either. These are okay. They are not the stretchiest fabric that I have tried on today. So that kind of makes me a little bit mm, about them. Also, I feel like having said that though, I also feel like they're kind of like randomly loose up here. Like I just feel like there's a little bit more give room. I don't know. It's, it's, the cut is just a little bit off, which is interesting. That's 
That's why like you have to really try on every single pair of jeans to really figure out what you want, I feel like. These are okay, definitely not a favorite. I don't think I'll be keeping these. And now that I have tried on the highest rise jegging from American Eagle, I'm kind of just like, I don't even think I want a super high rise. I want the highest rise jegging. I think that is also a part of it as well. Other than that though, these are still pretty comfortable. If you don't like a, you know, a lot of distressing, if you just want like, kind of a classic pair of jeans. I feel like this kind of hits the nail on the head a little bit. I will say though, I feel like the material of these jeggings are much thinner than any of the other ones I've tried on. I feel like this is the thinnest material so far that I've tried on. I don't know why, because I feel like they, they don't feel cheap by any means, but they just feel much thinner. Take that for what you will. Uh, but here they are, last pair of jeggings. And here they all are again, the seven pairs of American Eagle jeggings that I just tried on for you guys. Ooh, that was a lot of work. I shouldn't have probably done it all today right after work and right after showering, but I wanted to get this video filmed so that I can go ahead and return what I'm gonna return. So I honestly think I'm gonna return all of them except for maybe this pair. But even with that, I'm kind of wondering if I should just wait for the perfect like wash of the highest rise jegging to come out. I don't know. Anyways, as far as comfort goes, I will say I did prefer the 360 Next Level Stretch, which is kind of surprising to me because I feel like those have never always been the stretchiest of jeggings for me from American Eagle. Typically the super soft ones have been the stretchiest for me and I believe that was the, this pair. So the super stretch, super soft ones are typically, I feel like the softest pair of, uh, and stretchiest pair of jeggings from American Eagle. Again, this is, this is the first pair that I tried on where it was like very, very uh, light in the thigh. This time around, I really felt like the 360 was the uh, stretchiest. So that tells you something um, as well. Uh, my favorite again was the highest rise because I loved that high rise fit of it. I do think that of the um, super stretch, super soft and the super stretch, I do feel like that these, for some reason, felt stretchier and softer. Don't know why, maybe it's because these just felt a little baggy to me in the knees, not sure. Overall, for me though, if my personal opinion, if you want a very high rise jegging, go for the highest rise. I think you'll be very, very satisfied with how high they are and how they fit, I mean, especially if you want it really at kind of like the smallest point of your waist. Uh, if you're okay with just a super high rise, I really feel like all of them are fine. From this set, I really preferred the 360 stretch. And uh, typically, I really like the super soft, super stretch. But this time around, not so much. Lots of different washes, as you saw today. Even with the different washes, I feel like the jeans feel different. So if you have a set of jeans that you are super, super loving from American Eagle, and you see them in another wash, and maybe go ahead and try them on anyways, instead of just blindly purchasing, because they might fit a little bit differently than you were expecting. I think one thing that I might try next time is maybe trying, maybe buying the highest rise jegging in a short and just see if that makes any difference with some of the bunching issues that I had, especially with the black pair. And also the black pair are smelly. I don't know why. It's kind of weird. But that is it for me with this video. If you guys have happen to have any questions about American Eagle jeggings or want to see me try on more of these, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Uh, if you guys want to see more of my haul videos or any other fashion or uh, whatever content that I you know decide to make, go ahead. There are links in the description box down below as well. You guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I know it's a little bit long and I talk a little bit too much, but kind of wanted to give you my first impression and uh, really let you know what I felt about each of the pair of jeggings that I tried on today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Click like, comment, subscribe, all of that fun YouTube jazz. I will talk to you guys later. Bye!